649 time now for the morning rush. Some Albuquerque City Councilors are questioning the integrity of the investigation the, of the crash Police Chief Harold Medina was recently involved in. Members of the crash review board said the crash could not have been avoided. Council President Dan Lewis questioned whether a board made up of department employees subordinate to the chief could deliver a fair judgment. The man who police say is behind $50,000 worth of copper wire theft and damage at the city's transit center is now waking up behind bars. The organized crime unit arrested Brian Robinson outside of a Lowe's store on Tuesday. According to APD, firefighters recognized Robinson's truck from a recent metal theft and fire earlier that day. Officials say cannabis businesses in the state are losing revenue as their product is being seized by the feds. The New Mexico Cannabis Chamber of Commerce says in the last two weeks, federal agents have stopped 12 legal and licensed New Mexico cannabis businesses and seized more than $300,000 worth of product. Now the chamber says it's calling on the White House to intervene. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. It is a cool morning, so you'll need jackets and layers for now, but you won't need them this afternoon with that high of 74. City of Albuquerque officials are moving forward with an updated open spaces master plan that will last until the year 2030. The main focus of last night's meeting was on public input on what the city can do to upgrade parks and projects in the North Albuquerque Acres and Sandia Heights area. The updated master plan will be finalized by the end of the year. New Mexico residents will be able to check out the Balloon Fiesta for free this year. The Board of Director Directors is launching the first New Mexico Day of the month, October 7th. State residents can enter the park free if charged with a state ID or proof of residency. All other Balloon Fiesta ticket sales start tomorrow. The state's Department of Health is now reminding New Mexicans of the benefits of going out for a little stroll. The DOH's Heart Disease and Stroke Prevention Program is reminding everyone how a short 15-minute walk every day can make a big difference in your physical and mental health. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. No issues today. It's going to be a perfect spring day out there. A nonprofit is making stops in New Mexico and Arizona, distributing books on the Navajo Nation. Indian Girls Book Club has been handing out over 10,000 books to children living on the reservation. This Friday, Indian Girls Book Club will make their last stop at the Diné College Library in Shiprock. One Hobbs High School senior says that she is taking matters into her own hands after school restrictions are keeping some students from attending prom. Now she's putting on her own. Well, students at Hobbs High School say the administration changed the eligibility criteria for prom attendance as for students to have a 2.0 or higher GPA and fewer than 13 unexcused absences. Erica. All right, a check on traffic. The maps are clear right now. No accidents or major slowdowns. Here's a look at Tracker heading south on I-25 around the Big I, and there are definitely some slowdowns in the area. Four-legged former residents of the Tropicana in Las Vegas. They are searching for new homes after the hotel closed its doors. Many longtime employees say that they have built strong bonds with a group of cats who have been the residents at the Tropicana. For the last two weeks, they've been setting up traps, looking for the felines around the property. Time now for the five facts. At number five, researchers at Holloman Air Force Base uncovered an 8,000-year-old campsite. Matthew Cuba with the base's civil engineer squadron says they found about 70 artifacts at the site. Those discoveries include a flake and ground stones as well as charcoal. At number four, New Mexico residents will be able to check out the Balloon Fiesta for free this year. The Board of Directors is launching the first New Mexico Day on Monday, October the 7th. State residents can enter the park free of charge with a state ID or proof of residency. Residents will still have to pay to park. And at number three, it's going to be a warmer, calm and sunny day. Temperatures climbing from the 40s back into the mid 70s. And number two, officials say cannabis businesses are losing money because the feds are seizing their product. The New Mexico Cannabis Chamber of Commerce says in the last two weeks, federal agents have seized more than $300,000 worth of the product. The chamber is now reaching out to the White House for help. Now, in a statement, Customs and Border Patrol says marijuana is still classified as a Schedule I controlled substance under federal law. They say agents will continue to take action against those in possession anywhere in the U.S. And at number one, the city councilor sponsoring a no-confidence proposal against APD Chief Harold Medina is withdrawing his resolution. Councilor Luis Sanchez sponsored the vote against the chief. Sanchez says APD is being mismanaged, pointing to the current federal investigation into the department's DWI unit. At last night's meeting, Councilor Sanchez withdrew the resolution, citing concerns from other councilors.